Hi, this is Sam from Getting Finances Done and 12 Weeks to Fiscal Fitness and this short screencast will show you the different balances you're going to see in You Need a Budget and explain those. Let's look down. I'm in the register now for my checking account. We're going to look down in the lower right hand corner. Here we see a cleared balance. Here we see an uncleared or uncleared transactions and then a working balance. Let me explain what that means. Up here on your register, you'll see uh, each of the transactions will either have a C or, or a U. And if it has a C, that means that that transaction has been cleared by your bank. So you're seeing it in your bank account report or online. And once that is cleared, it's going to show up uh, in the cleared balance. In other words, that transaction will affect the cleared balance. Now let's look at what happens. Uh, the balance right here is, what, $1,118. So let's say that this transaction I had entered in manually, um, but I haven't cleared it and verified that it showed up in my bank account. So now we look down at this balance and it's $1,145.98. And here we have uncleared transactions of $27.73, which is the same as, as that transaction that we had uncleared. Now, this is important because when you're reconciling your budget, you want to be working off of uh, the cleared balance. So you're ensuring that the, trans the, the balance you're looking at are transactions that you've actually cleared through your bank and verified that they're in there. And those are the ones that will match up with your bank account statement. Now, sometimes if you have reconciled your account up to today's date, and you don't have any other transactions that you've entered in manually or anything, um, usually those two things will match right up. And so you can use either the cleared balance or the working balance. It doesn't really matter. But it's important to understand that differentiation. That way when you're seeing if everything's matching up between you need a budget and your bank account, uh, you know which balance to look at and you're not beating your head against the wall trying to figure out why it's different. So that's it for the screencast. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.